Okay, so that's all for the basic configuration commands. I left the details for you to learn uh, after the class. Now we will use a case analysis to introduce how to use that in the real case. Yeah, this is the case one. We want you to check the current directory and check all the files in the current directory. So yeah, that's very easy. You can use the pwd to check the current working directory and use the dir to check all the files in this current directory, right? And another one, we want you to create a new directory and then delete the directory. Yeah, we should use the make dir. Yeah, make dir test and then you check all the files again, you can see that, yes, a new subdirectory is created. And we can use this remove DIR test to remove this new directory. Okay, for case two, how to do the file operation. Just now, actually, we are doing the uh, directory operation. Now for file operation, we can rename a file into a new name. Yeah, we can use this command. And then let's look at the result. Now, if we uh, look at the files, you can see that the originally there is a Huawei.txt, but now they have changed to save.zip. Okay. And we want you to make a copy of this file into a new file. So you should use copy. And then let's check together. You can see that besides all the previously exist files, there is a new file which named file.txt, right? So we have copied this one to this one. They have the same size. And similarly, you can remove a file, you can delete a file, or you can restore a delete file uh, using corresponding command. We will not go through this in detail. Okay, case three. Actually, this case is very useful. This tells us how to configure the uh, VRP and the, uh, how to configure a device using the uh, VRP platform. So first, you need to connect the router and the PC. Yeah, so one thing you need to know that is that although we have so many different login or uh, user interface, for example, we have web uh, interface, we have command line interface, and in command line interface, we have um, local uh, local login and, and remote login, right? But for the first time configuration, the only, there is only one type of login can be used, which is the local login. You can only use the console port to configure. Then you can enable the web browser or the re remote login. Okay, so um, at least at the first time, you need to use the console port, console cable to connect the PC to the device. And then we want you to set up the password for the remotely login users, and then to view the configurations and uh, modify the configurations. Okay. So that's all we want you to do. Now let's look at how to do it. So first of all, how to com we need to configure the IP address of this router. So first we enter the user interface and then go to the system view, then go into the interface view, right, device view. So here actually we need to first change the name from Huawei to AR1 to indicate that, okay, this is the router one. And then we configure this interface and let this interface to have the IP address of this and then quit. So until now, we configured the name of the router and the interface IP address. Now let's uh, configure the user level and the user's authentication mode. So we want to tell, uh, remotely log in to the device. So we need to configure the virtual uh, view mode, okay? So we need to use this command to enable the telnet login and then to set the password. And then 
uh, give a level, a pri privilege level for this user. As we said that we have four different user, yeah, uh, 16 different user levels and four different command levels. If we uh, configure the user as level one, then they can only view, they can only do some configuration, but they cannot do the uh, high level management. Then we need to uh, configure the startup, right? So we need to uh, specify the configuration file for the next startup. So first we need to save the current um, configuration into a certain file. Uh, you can only, you can use one command save to save it to a default file. But if you want to save it to a, a personalized file, then you need to add the file name after the save. And then uh, if you want to start up with this new file, then you need to use this command, which is the startup saved configuration, Huawei.zip. Then you can, in, next time when you start up, you, you can use this configuration to start. Okay, so that's all for our configuration for our device. And after all these configurations, you need to check whether your configuration is correct, is as your expectation. So we can use this display start. Then they can give you all these configurations currently. And then you can see that the startup saved configuration file actually is this file. And you have successfully changed the next startup saved file into this Huawei dozy. Okay, so all is finished. There are three different database to store the configurations. For example, we have the startup configuration database, which is used to save the startup configurations. And we also have the running configuration database, which are used to save the current configuration. And also we have this candidate configuration database, which is used to save some potential configuration database, which is being edited, well, completed, but not committed. The VRP5 only support these two uh, databases, but VRP8 support all three kind of databases. Okay, so that's all for today's lecture. If we summarize today's talk, actually we learned what is VRP? Actually, VRP is a Huawei proprietary network operating system that can run on various hardware platforms. They can provide the unified network user and management interface. And by using VRP, we can efficiently manage the Huawei devices. And you should be very familiar with the ARP commands and configurations. And also, you need to understand some common command and some useful shortcut keys. Finally, uh, after learning this course, you need to know the basic VRP concepts, the function of common commands and the command line uh, interface. That's all for today's lecture. Thank you.